Nice. Here, let me help you with your tie. Yeah, I, I never wear suits. You been up long? Long enough to know that I wish this day was already over. Just so you know, your mom may be back, but I'm not going anywhere. I know this is no small comfort, and I'm not crazy about the timing of it, but just so you know, Todd's arraignment is later today, and I'm planning on throwing the book at him. The whole library, in fact. Mm. Thank you. I'll see you at St. James. Call me if you need me. Come in. Hey, it's just me. Did I wake you up? No, no. You look, you look nice. You're very handsome. Uh, thank you. I, I never wear stuff like this. I guess I have to for what I have to do today. Good morning. <sighs> yeah, it's great. Of course, you're grieving, too. Funerals, they're just not my best event. You were involved with Star's baby right from the beginning. Can't even imagine what she's feeling like right now. Where is she? We all need to get ready for the service. She's gone. Gone where? She left this on her bed. Should we be worried? I think this is Star just uh, knowing what's best for Star. I just wanted to be here by myself for a while to think. Of course, I understand. Wait. You and Cassie lost a child, too, right? William. What was that like for you? Hard. I was angry. I was Oh, I was so angry. I just wanted to break things. I was mad at the whole world. Mad at God, most of all. You? Huh. Yeah, I told him I hated him. I asked him how could he take such a... such a defenseless, such an innocent life. I would have willingly given mine instead. I, I wanted some answers. Did you get any? No. No answers. And I think that's the hardest part to take, you know, that sometimes our worst pain has no rhyme, no reason whatsoever.